as you can imagine, the show and it's all glory. That <laughs> vote coming after parents and residents telling the board they agree live PD is not what Salinas needs, saying it's done more harm than good by showcasing the city's issues for our entertainment. So um, motion carries. Alisal Union School District joining other organizations such as the Salinas Union High School District and the Monterey County Democratic Party to formally oppose the continuation of live PD in Salinas. I'm feeling really good. Uh, I knew it was going to come out positive in our side. Aside, residents say, live PD is further feeding Salinas's already existing stigma. This, which is that we're only uh, gunshots and lettuce. Live PD, the reality show that falls around Salinas police officers on their day-to-day -day operations, originally with the goal of being transparent. Now residents are saying it's the opposite, portraying the city unfairly. And all the people that I saw getting arrested were Mexican, or Latin, Latin or Latinx. I think it adds to the stereotype of, of us. I think it's racist. I think it's discriminatory. It's being called a distraction for students. So how do we suppose our children to focus on their own experience in this trauma in our community of a false narrative that is not really the representation of our community? Not all board members think a resolution is the way to go. I just feel that we need that elected body that we voted for to take care of it. That's my explanation for my vote. While this board member agrees that live PD doesn't belong in the city, she says concerns should be brought directly to the source. Nothing impedes any of us to go to the city council meeting and to let the city council know how we feel. Nothing impedes us. We could go over there and be very effective. Now the next step now is to take this resolution to the Salinas City Council and from there they'll just have to deal with that and the other resolutions they've gotten. And see where it goes. And see where it goes. All right, Alani, thank you.